Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's Tuesday, I think March 1st, or April 1st. Is it April? Yes, April Fool's Day. No one's doing anything jokey because Corona's going like crazy. So anyway, um, last few days on eBay, I've sold a ton. And I, I think I filmed a video of me packing up some of the stuff, but some of it I just haven't had the time. It's been in such a rush because I've I, a lot of my items I have one day shipping on, so I'll get a, a sale at like 5 p.m., well beyond when the post office comes, and I will have to rush out to the garage to, sh to pack it up and get it ready for the next day. But regardless of that, it's been really good sales using that um, repricing tool that I mentioned in an earlier video, and that repricing tool is called Street Pricer or Street Lister. I can't remember. Um, it's 30 bucks a month and I'm almost done with my free trial and it's already, I've sold I think 12 listings over the past two days that have been sitting there for a year. And you set a ceiling and you set a floor price, so maximum you're willing to sell it for, minimum you're willing to sell it for, and then it shows you competitors and you can select the competitors you wanna compete with that are selling the same product. Now it won't compete, it won't auto reprice if your floor price is above their floor price, meaning if they're selling something for 45 bucks, and you have your floor price at $50, it won't reprice to like $44.99 to beat them. You have to set your floor price to beat them. Anyway, I might do an in-depth kind of walkthrough of how I use it. But anyway, um, that being said, is one of the things that sold a lot is I sold six bottles of uh, a uh, diffuser oil that have been sitting on eBay for a year almost overnight. So I'm gonna pack those up really quick. I don't know why I thought it was six, it's three. So three of these things here, these are these K-Hall um, scent diffusions, peony, and these go in those like things in, in like hotel or restaurant bathrooms that have the reeds sticking out of it that, that kind of add a little bit of scent to the room. So I sold three of these, not six. I'm gonna pack them up in a six by six by six. Well, good evening, everybody. It is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, midst of the quarantine due to the coronavirus pandemic. So on a heavy note, that's what's going on. If you're looking at this years from now, I don't know if I survived. If I did, please subscribe. If I didn't, I don't technically care what you do. <laughs> um, anyway, this is an unboxing video and technically it's an unbagging video because I bought some stuff at auction and I'm excited to show you what it is. It's for my Etsy store. So I cheated a little bit and opened the bag already. Um, it's got my address on the other side and this is one of those pesky mailers that's got really thick plastic or really good adhesive wrap. Okay, here are my two parcels. Kind of looks like I bought some drugs. Any of you guys ever bought any drugs on the US Post Office? Um, comment in this comment section below and let me know. Um, okay, so I believe that what this is, is some minerals for jewelry making, if I'm correct. If I'm not correct, then I buy way too much stuff on auctions if I need to remember and do better. Okay, so lot 23047, 2020 rock auctions. Rockions. oh dude. Okay, you know what these are? Fossilized dinosaur teeth. That's right, fossilized dinosaur teeth for jewelry making. Now, I am touching something that is, I don't know, hundreds of millions of years old. I don't know the math, 50, 60, 70 million. This was in the mouth of a dinosaur at one point. Look at that and see the marrow where it used to be. Isn't that insane? Now, just to be touching something like this is amazing. But you think about it, we go outside and we touch rocks all day. Rocks are older than this. For some reason, since this was in a living creature that just humans are just enthralled with, makes this a very surreal experience to be holding this. Now, I don't know if omnivores had sharp teeth. I think some probably did there was a purpose, but I'm assuming this was a carnivore and by the size of the teeth, it probably could have killed us and eaten us. It should have been a bit more fragile with that because this one looks like it's been cracked and glued back together. So I'm not really gonna be able to sell this one. Maybe someone will buy it. Again, the reason I purchased these was to 
um, sell on Etsy as, and again, look at how clever they are in their photography. They turn this over so I wouldn't see the chip. They photographed it like this. So that's the risk with buying online auctions is you really don't know what you're gonna get. It's been cracked. It's cracked there and it's cracked there, but someone might still buy these. The cracked ones I might list on eBay. Um, the uncracked ones I will try to list on Etsy and see if they sell for jewelry making. Let me make a good thumbnail for this video by putting all these teeth in order here. It's weird viewing this through my phone with my hand. Okay, so what do you guys think? Is that a good thumbnail? Dinosaur teeth? Okay. All right, so dinosaur teeth out of the way. I'm gonna eventually put them back in this bag here, but I'm gonna gently scooch them over here. I've got this parcel, it's a bit heavier. Now the post office, or the, the post place, most auction houses use a, a place that will pack up the auctions for them. They don't pack them up themselves. Um, they charged like 250 for packing materials, which I, I suppose, I don't know, that and the plastic bag that came in probably cost them less than a penny because they probably do this in bulk, but that's how they make it cash. It makes sense. Okay, so this um, is again from the 2020 uh, rock auction. I think these are amethyst chunks. Let me set my phone down to open this. was because I think that someone will be able to use these to make jewelry. Let's see. Oh, that might be a better thumbnail right there, let's be honest. But look at that, look at how beautiful that is. If you want to see the clarity of this guy. I don't know anything about rocks. This is not probably a way to test anything, but it looks good. That's so cool. Amazing. Again, these are way older than those rocks, than those dinosaur teeth. <laughs> I don't know how many, might, how much older. Um, if you're a rock expert, please comment below. It'd be better if you're a rock expert and a dinosaur tooth expert, because then you could answer two questions. God, look at that, it's so beautiful. The, the, I don't know how it got that purple hue. That's so beautiful. Okay, so we got those three. And I think I've got four more right here. So I'm going to set the phone down. Let's see, here we go. Now these are a bit smaller. Let's see, comparison wise. And, but, and not as clear. This one looks like it has some quartz or something in it. Um, let me get it better. Hi, deer. And those aren't deer, they're antelope, I think. Look at that. It's got some crystal on the end, some like clear crystal quartz or something. This one looks really dark, but I'm sure this would make a cool ass pendant. It's like dark crystal. Look at that, wow. Imagine wearing that and just it shining in the sun. It's so beautiful. I kind of want to get a rock tumbler and just polish these. I'm not sure if that's the best way to go about it, but. I don't think I'm gonna get, oh my God, look at that. I don't think I'll necessarily get like top dollar for these. You can buy these in bulk, I'm sure, online or at a, at a rock store. I mean, you see them all the time at like museums and science centers, they have these in bulk. But the person who doesn't have access to any of that kind of stuff, hopefully will see my listing on Etsy. And if they don't sell on Etsy, I'll post them on eBay. I'm also gonna cross post to Pinterest and get a lot of eyes on this. Look at that. Now, I don't know if you can carve amethyst, if it's easy to carve into like a figurine, if a jeweler would like to do that. I wonder what's the difference? What's the difference between a jeweler and a jewelry maker? I guess a jeweler is just an expert in jewelry and knows all about rocks and metals and types of, you know, gem settings and if a gem's real or fake, but I don't think they necessarily know 
how to make jewelry. Maybe they do. Huh. Anyway, thank you for watching my video, this little unbagging of fossilized dinosaur teeth and these um, amethyst crystal chunks. I am uh, eventually going to photograph these and throw these up on Etsy, like I've been saying in the video. And I'm excited to see how they do. I'm not sure. I've, I've seen similar listings. I did my research before I bought these. I paid five bucks or ten bucks for all those. And the dinosaur teeth were five bucks. So I paid probably, including shipping, like 20 bucks for everything you see there. I should be able to turn around and charge six to eight dollars per stone. So we're looking at seven stones times eight would be about 56 to $60. And then the dinosaur teeth, I have absolutely no idea. So I'll make triple my money that I spent. I, it's more fun to me just to, to buy things and see the possibility of them and then list them rather than necessarily make a ton of money, which this is a hobby of mine. I enjoy doing it. I'd like to have it be, you know, supplemental income for me and my family. But right now I don't have any real big fish I've got my stuff on eBay that's selling constantly, but it's not bringing in a ton of money, but I'm very grateful for what it is and I keep working to get better at listing and reselling. Anyway, I tend to ramble at the end of these videos. I apologize. I'm gonna photograph some stuff for eBay. All right, have a great night. Stay safe.